Hi church family, uh, just coming to you again tonight, just as we prepare for our healing service this coming Sunday, we're one step closer. I uh, just want to touch base. Last night we kind of talked about um, forgiveness and how important forgiveness plays a role uh, in healing. Um, I want to kind of come in a little different direction this evening. <clears throat> um, I don't know if you can see on my shirt, um, you know I work, for, uh, work at Chick-fil-A also. Um, and it is billed as the most caring company uh, in, in the country. And that's, that's what we shoot for. That's what the aim is, to be the most caring company. <clears throat> and we show that by each day trying to create stories of care uh, to our guests, uh, to our coworkers, um, to anyone really we come in contact with. Uh, we did a thing today called uh, We Care Wednesday where we'll go and um, do something nice for a local business uh, we've been to police departments, fire departments. Today we went to the physical therapy place. But We Care Wednesday shows that we take one day to show some care. <clears throat> and that's all well and good. And you may be saying, what does that have to do with church and a healing service this coming Sunday? Well, I think it has a lot to do with it because one of the ways we show care is to share our faith. Um, how tragic is it that people who you know, we may work with uh, day in and day out, neighbors we see every day, um, people we travel with wherever, and we have the keys to you know, their, you know, where they spend eternity, and yet we don't care enough to, to share our faith. We don't care enough maybe to, for those that are hurting around us. <clears throat> um, we may feel embarrassed, we may feel um, we don't want to infringe on anybody and things like that or, or, or you know, we just don't want to bother anybody. But I believe that when they care, uh, when they care for their salvation, they care for things like their healing uh, <clears throat> and things like that, when that care gets to a level where that's more important or, or that's uh, less painful than, um, you know, us being put out or things like that, that's when uh, true care starts to happen. You know, sometimes it has to, we have to kind of swallow our pride. Uh, maybe it's someone that we don't uh, particularly care for, but we know that God is leading us. <clears throat> Last night at our men's Bible study, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, one of the gentlemen had shared about how uh, someone at work that God had put a burden on his heart to share his faith with, and he wasn't real sure about his salvation. Um, and the opportunities came by and he passed it up. Pa opportunities came by and he passed it up. And one day, <clears throat> the Spirit of God just really, you know, surrounded him with boldness. And he had a conversation with a co-worker and, and you know, I would say verified, but confirmed that he asked Jesus into his heart. And it was very, uh, it was a great time uh, to see a co-worker <clears throat> come to know Jesus. Little did he know that two weeks after accepting Jesus, um, he passed away unexpectedly. And, you know, thank God he's walking the streets of gold today. But one of the gentleman who shared the testimony last night, if he wouldn't have cared enough to go the extra mile to make sure to have the conversation, who knows what, um, where he would be today. So my encouragement tonight is those around us that, that God has been um, put us in contact with, uh, surrounding us with, again, whether it be friends, family, co-workers, things like that, God has placed us in each other's lives. And do we care enough about their eternity? Do we care enough about the hurting that they're going through now uh, to speak up, to say, hey, I don't have all the answers, but I know the answer. And that's, and that's putting your faith in Jesus Christ. There may be people that you come in contact with that you know are hurting and struggling and and this may be the time and we've been praying a lot of people have been praying for those divine appointments <clears throat> and it may be the time to say hey come with me to church this sunday i know you may not normally go to church but i believe that when we put the invitation out there that we're going to be surprised uh, who accepts the invitation because we live in a world that is hurting there's no doubt about that and I'm not, I wanted to clarify something. I'm not even just talking about physical healing that people are in need of. It's emotional healing, um, mental healing, uh, many, many different things, uh, relational healing. 
So I'm very excited. I know you can tell my excitement. I'm very excited about this coming Sunday uh, about what God I know is going to do um, in and through us. Um, and I just have, have so much anticipation. If you know, you're not in the area and you'll be watching online or something like that, we'll have someone uh, manning um, Facebook that you can put your prayer request in and we'll pray for you uh, on Sunday morning as we're praying for you know, those that would be there. So just wanted to share some encouragement with you tonight. Um, and, and the word is, show how much you love by caring. Um, a great pastor, a uh, friend of mine that, that I, I work with in ministry, one of the, the greatest things he said was that people don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. And that is, that is the truth. I've, I've seen that, uh, experienced that. And when we show care, then they care. Um, then, then they'll take an interest in what we have to say. So coming from a person who's a director at Chick-fil-A, where, where this is the theme, we create stories of care. Or that's in our intention every single day. I believe that as the body of Christ that we need to have that same uh, goal that create stories of care to the people around us. So um, God bless you. If there's something that we can pray uh, with you about, please feel free to leave it in the comments and we will definitely be praying for you uh, this week. God bless and we'll talk to you tomorrow.